Now, how do you go ahead and type in a special characters on an iPhone? How can you go about that? You can see this is a chat in iMessage with myself and I'm using the built-in keyboard from Apple. I'm not using anything fancy. Anyways, to get it to different characters, you have more options and it depends what the actual character is. If it's some kind of change or modification of these characters, the easiest way is to simply hold down on it and you can see you can scroll through the section and type different type of use in a different languages so that's how it works if it's a different one you can always just find it in here and scroll through and find it that if this is the symbol that you're looking for it is sort of looking like the letter a just hold down on the letter a and scroll through the section to find the one you're looking for However, very important thing is that it also depends on which language you have set up for your keyboard. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. For example, if I hold down on the letter L, I only have one other option, the L with the strike through. However, if I switch to a different language from a different country, I have much more options in here. And if I hold down on the letter L, I have three options now. So that's really cool. When I hold down on an A, chances are that I have some other options here too. For example, this one doesn't do anything. This one doesn't do anything either. And if I come here, I perhaps get to another option. So yeah, it depends on the keyboard that you use. You can always just switch to a different language by going to the settings and to the general section like here tap on keyboard and you can tap on keyboard once again and the new one and scroll through all of the languages and possible keyboards you may be using on your iPhone. So play around with it. Try to see if you cannot find any special character that you want. However, not just the letters can have modifications. There are also different characters available within the keyboard. So if you click on the one, two, three button, you get to the letters and other stuff. And the, uh, these characters are no exceptions. You can hold down on different buttons here and scroll through other options. So if you hold down on the, the dollar sign, you can switch it to, for example, British pounds. So you can switch the characters very easily like this. Or if you click on uh, the question mark, you can go to the flipped one for whatever reason. That's an, another option as well. If you hold down on numbers, nothing really happens. However, if you hold down on the uh, number zero, you can get to the degree sign. So that's really cool. However, this is not everything because right now we can switch back to the ABC or click on another set of other characters like this. So you can see different ones are available in here, which also have the option to be hold down onto perhaps to see if new buttons are available not all of them you can see most of them don't have other options in here but some of them do so you should click on that and find out which special character you want to download however if you are not happy and not satisfied with the apple keyboard there is no reason to be stuck with it just get to the app store and find and search for the keyboard so type in keyboard like this search for it and you can download any one that you want for example microsoft swift key is a third-party keyboard which you can download and install on your iphone and that one may be equipped with a different special characters that you are looking for or it may show you some other features which you may like so yeah i'm just showing you showing this to you as an example you don't have to use this one there are others like the gboard other apps and keyboards are available for you to try out so that's about it that's everything what i wanted to explain to you in this video if you liked it if you found it useful make sure to hit the thumbs up subscribe down below because you don't want to miss future videos and future tutorials about iphones it would be shame if you couldn't get the most out of your device so go ahead and subscribe right now to the fox tech and i'll catch you in the future video peace out until then